Hello, welcome back. In this lesson, we are going to create an entrance in our porch. It's very, very important so that our beautiful house will not have an entry. We create an opening within it. Probably a nice arch here. And then also the same two here. We're going to use the easiest method, which I call the editing wall profile method. We have to edit the profile of this wall for us to be able to create that arch within it. It's very important. There are other options by which you can use. In fact, those ones are applicable. They are very important, like using the wall opening. In that situation, the top will have to be rectangular. That means that the top has to be rectangular for you to use the vertical wall opening. But if you want to have an arch at the top or some kind of design, then you should edit the profile of the wall to match it up. Let's move straight into it and then you'll get me clearly. So to edit a profile of a wall, first, select the wall. Immediately you select the wall, you have the option to edit the profile of the wall. So you click edit profile. Now, this wall is facing me straight away, so straight up. So for me to be able to edit it properly, I have to be in the front elevation. So I say open view and here am I. Okay, so I'll click my wall. Yeah, I'm creating the design. That's what it means. If you're editing the profile, it means that you are creating your design within it and that is good. Okay. If I dimension, so I click on align dimension. If I dimension from here to there and it's six meters and I feel it's okay for me, I can leave it that way and then create my arc at the top of it. So let's check something. So let me pick my height. Okay, so I'm going to place a segmental arch around the side. So I have the side, I come, this corner. So the first line I drew was just a reference, just to guide me. Okay, so I have this beautiful art there. But also, the rule here is the same. I told you that when you're doing the floor, that it has to form a close loop. It's very, very important. Okay, so I come to fillet or trim the corners. And then for here, it has to form a close loop like this. Come this way. That means that this line ought to go. So what do I do? I have to split this line into two and then break it up to this side and break it up to that side. So I'll use the tool here called split. Split is here. Split element. So I split the element into two and then I can trim it at the corner Trim here to to the corner and let it stand. Okay, we have a beautiful arch and we have formed a close loop. It will work. But before I move on to finish my sketch, let's see something. Let's drop this one by 150 because we dropped the floor at the porch by 115. So when we finish, it will be hanging. Okay, so let's do that. The program will tell us that the best way is to use a constraint. But let's let's ignore it and then drop it. So we, we use the align. Constraints are not satisfied. So we said we move the constraint there. We do same for this side too. And then they are gone. It is telling us the best way to control the top and base of a wall is to modify the constraints and offset parameters of the property dialog. Okay, I told you so. Let's ignore it. The error that came is called ignorable error. It is not a fatal error. It's just ignorable error. Warning you that what you, I mean, cautioning you about procedure. That's all. Okay, so we can come back here and then see our beautiful arch. Wow. So we have our entry, but we need to create similar one here and then there. Um, with the same understanding, let's let's just create one for this side of the wall. So um, I go back to my plan. Though I could have selected it in the 3D, but it will give me the option to edit it in the 3D. I don't want it so. So I come back here to edit profile after the wall is selected. 
then I click on the right side elevation. I said open view and this is what I have. Okay. I know now the understanding is cutting there, so let me just make the side straight. Okay. So I will split here. And then trim the corner. Okay, so let's drop this side too. We've satisfied the first condition, which means we have formed a closed loop. So this two should also work. We are done. Let's repeat the same for the last end. And then we know we would have been through with that. Okay, so we go to left elevation. Correct. So same way. I'll come back here. Pick it. Draw it up and then drop it. We split the side and then we trim the color. Let's use the align to drop the base of our wall that we are editing. So we say finish because the closed loop is formed. Finish the sketch and we are done. So this is a beautiful 3D. We've created the end chance for it now and it's looking good. I believe at this point you are you're really appreciating the course. Don't forget this is just to give you the intro. We'll be going into details to treat the various topics very well in the Model 2. Thank you.